Well here we have, just so you know, this is uh, some tannoyce timber, 6x2 and uh, what we have over here is the aero decking, look at that, in charcoal, absolutely stunning, beautiful. But what we need to do is that the customer wants a pergola going over the top and we're just not going to put this timber on and you know it's, it's as a pergola and you know hope that this is going to blend in because with the aero decking you can feel the grain but you can't feel the grain with this so what we're going to do we're going to do a bit of a shosugi van yakisugi thermal wood wood burning whatever you want to call it and then what we're going to do is we're going to brush it and then we're going to put some uh rubio monocoat in charcoal color to to blend in so watch how this turns out It's Johnny Boy. It's Friday. I'm in the garden, right? You think I've had enough of it in work, but I haven't. Shosugi van, yakisugi, thermal wood, wood burning, whatever you want to call it. The fact is, the Japanese come up with an idea about burning wood because they knew that it would preserve wood for many, many years to come. So here I am again. I'm in the garden, and what I'm doing, I'm burning. It's okay. I'm burning some six by two, and the reason I'm burning some six by two, as I've said, because I want it to look like the Aero decking board. I want it to look sharp, I want it to look sleek, I want it to look neat, but most of all, I want some unity, some cohesiveness between the pergola and the decking system. And the only way I'm gonna do it is to burn this wood, okay, brush it off, put some Rubio Monocoat on there, and we'll have the same effect as the Aero decking board just over there. You can't see it, but you will see it later on in the video. So, now, I just wanna say, I am using tannalized timber, all right? You must, you must wear a mask when you're burning wood, especially if you've got tantalized timber. And uh, it just so happens I happen to have some 6x2. I always keep enough in stock. So I am burning it, I am wearing a mask. And um, some people's gonna say that the Japanese actually used fire. Yeah, they did. They never had gas. No, they didn't have gas. because They did it hundreds of years ago. But I can't have a fire on my drive, so I'm, burn I'm using a gas bowl. And that's the way I'm gonna do it because it's simply quicker. That's enough talking, let's get on with it. Well, there we are. I've turned it up. Now we're on the end grain. Now you can still see that little bit smouldering down there, but that's absolutely fine. No problem at all with that. Got to do the end grain now. Uh, we're going to go all the way around. Uh, but seriously, um, just a little minute ago, uh, just a while ago, I should say rather, that I I was burning this timber and I didn't have a mask on. I've made the point that it's tantalised timber. You must wear a mask. You can actually do it with um, non-treated timber. Abs that'd be absolutely fine. Uh, it just so happened that I had this timber around, so uh, I will be wearing a mask after. And now, I'm going to get one out now so I can actually show you what I'm doing. There we are. This is my mask. You must wear a mask. I'm going to get on with this now and uh, we'll be able to show you then what it turns out like.
Well, here we go. You can see how the grain is popping now, and uh, it's been washed off, it's been brushed off, and I did even, to be honest, I gave it a light power wash, only a very light one, and it did get all the cinder, all the dead embers, or the burnt embers out, and you can actually feel the grain. We're gonna let that dry now tonight, and if you have to dry it off tomorrow again with a torch and give it another brush, we will. And then we'll be applying the Rubio Monocoat. Well, good morning. Um, have a look at this. Absolutely hammering it down here today. What I was hoping to do, I was hoping to get on with some wood burning and then I was going to put the Rubio Monaco on the top. This is a piece that I burnt yesterday. If you look at that, you can see the grain and it's come out really nice. So this is going to form part of our pergola. But it's going to be difficult doing it in weather like this though I'm underneath the sauna. See how it's dried. It's not ideal to do it this way, but um, got to get on. So, just going to see how this little bit comes out. We put some cream on it. Well, there you are. That's when I've applied the first coat of the charcoal ruby minor coat. It's raining now. It's not ideal conditions, like I said. But this is the decking. This is the aero decking, and uh, you can see. It's not bad at all. And the, the, the decking piece is wet at the moment. But that's not bad at all. Morning survivors uh, and daily grinders, and that includes Carberry and Ben Dodgers. I'm uh, down my local park this morning. Um, this is in lockdown now. It's a beautiful place to come in, uh, walk and get some fresh air and walk the dogs. But just want to show you something now. Look now. Okay, so what we have here, let's get straight into it. We have several different types of leaves. I'm going to be taking a picture of this as well, hopefully. There you go. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bring the horticultural and the hard landscape world together. Now, we're going to be doing some competitions very, very soon. Just have a quick look at those again. If we can name those leaves, okay, we're going to be giving away an ECD 115 uh, blade. Cracking little blade, perfect for cutting around different shapes. A few of you guys have had them before and they do work. So, name those leaves. And I've got my ITS hat on. They're not paying me to wear this. Have a great day. Name those leaves. Well, at last, the sun is out and uh, so the intention is to burn the rest of this now. And uh, I've burnt the one side. Get it done before the gas runs out.
Well, as you can see, I've been using a pressure washer to get the burnt embers off. And the reason for that is that if I start brushing this, though I'm wearing a mask, it gets absolutely everywhere. So you've got to be so careful. So I'm keeping the dust down by using the pressure washer. It's not exactly authentic and original, but um, it is good for your health. So got it off, but it, you can just see how it's revealing the grain. And uh, it just takes all the soft, the, when you're burning it, it, it burns into the soft part of the wood and it'll show the grain and makes the grain really pop. 